Hello, visuals, and welcome back to the channel. Hello. Where we will sing the entire episode. Mm, sure. Now we'll get it more dramatic. I've witnessed a murder, Chris. So have I. Where did you see the murder? When I was younger in Brampton. Oh, we were in Brampton. Where were you in Brampton? In the town. Do you have any eyewitness accounts? It wasn't you. Then you go, it wasn't. It wasn't me. It wasn't you. I can say, where is the law? I need to speak to the law. <laughs> carry on. There's not a character. I am the law. You are the law. He is the law. He is the law. And I would have like, duh, 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 duh. Okay, well, that's another that. <laughs> Fuck me. I don't know what that was. Hello, bitch. You are the Instant Vision Guy podcast. And one simple question I'm going to ask Chris right now. Easy. Yes or no? Just no. yes or no? No. Yes or no? No. Wait for the question. <laughs> this is an episode of Golden What Wings. is the question, Daniel? I'm just going to speak to you like this. You know when people speak to you like that? You know, like, you see them in the films of arrogant people, they'll be like, oh, excuse me, you'll find uh, I'm so-and-so. And you're like, you're a cunt. You, you know, you see them yeah, arrogant yeah. people, you say, oh, excuse me. It's like, why are, you, why are you shutting your eyes, you fucking twat? What was the question? I don't know. What's the uh, question? Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Who goes side tangents? One simple question, Chris. Which is? Are we fucked? No. 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 We're not going to war. I don't necessarily mean just war. It's a lot of things that I've been thinking about because of war. But I just mean us as a species on this planet. Are we fucked? I do feel sorry for people in certain senses when they've battled through a lot of shit over the last three years. Yeah. Obviously, I don't know them personally, but if somebody I know who knows. Um... They've battled through cancer, survived that. Yeah. Then all this COVID fucking crack happened. They got COVID twice, survived that. And now this fucking war is happening. So people like that, I kind of feel sorry for. All they want is a fucking break in life. I've got five minutes to say, leave the fuck alone. Yeah. And the worst thing is we create a lot of our own problems. We Obviously, do. the cancer part now to do with us. COVID, arguably, depends, you know, who you yeah. talk to. And then there's war shit. But, like... I was looking at the future, and the future was... <laughs> it's, not, it's not very good then, is it? No, 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 it's not good, but the future was sat in front of me the other day, and by the future, I mean sat in front of me. I mean, specky boy at work. He's 18, yeah. he is the future. He is the future. Right, and I'm looking, I'm thinking, right, I'm sat watching the news, because it's my break time, so I wanted to have my signings and watch the news, because I've been watching a lot of the Ukraine shit, and he went, he went, why are you fucking watching the news, you freak? You can watch all that on TikTok. And I went... <laughs> and I just looked at him and just thought... I'm looking around and I'm thinking... Is this fucking motherfucker for real? Like, wait, wait, how long are those videos usually? He wears glasses. About oh, 30 seconds. I saw Vladimir Putin... Uh, not Vladimir, but Vladimir Klitschko killed six people. And I went... Right. So I'm watching the news, which runs for longer, gives you more information and accurate information. Yeah. You're watching a 30-second clip about Vladimir... Klitschko killing six people. I said that TikTok video is wrong because it was his younger brother, not Vladimir. No, no, it was him. And I showed him blah blah blah. Vladimir Putin doing his. Oh, Vladimir Klitschko, you know the boxers, yeah. you know, the Ukrainians. He hasn't killed anybody. He hasn't even seen the combat yet. But his brother is the mayor of a town, and he has seen combat. And he went, oh yeah. Well, it just got them confused. I was like, well, you're using that as your news, mate. And if that's telling you it wrong. Then you're going to know it wrong and speak to people about it wrong. Yes. I was like, if you're coming up to me, say why you're watching the news. That's why I don't fucking use TikTok. That's why I don't watch the news. No, hey, hey, <laughs> go on TikTok, or TikTok. I've got it. Go on it all you want. I've got it. As an entertainment source. But that's when fucking I keep getting tagged in shit. And I'm like, well, I have to download it just to fucking watch the shit. Yeah, that happens to me. But no, I, I understand. We go on YouTube to watch a podcast. Uh, I go on Sky Sports to watch the football. Go to the right source. I've yes. got the cinema to watch a film. Yes. I've got the cinema to watch EastEnders and then stay at home to watch The Lord of the Rings. The Lord of the Rings is for, you know, yeah. you know what I'm trying to say. I know what you're trying to say. It's, it's, it, it was baffled me. I was like, that's all about, you know, people dancing or people saying a joke or a new meme. Not what's happening in a fucking potential World War Three, mate. Yeah. It's, it was bizarre. And then he said someone else, which is less 
politically impactful, but I wanted to smash his face in and it absolutely, it didn't just enrage me, every single person that works at my spot was pissed clean off when I had to tell everybody. He came up to us and he went, hey Don, you like that. see when you got a Newcastle game, do you wear a Newcastle shirt? And I, and I, I said, I said, again, looked around thinking, I went, no, I wear a Wigan Athletic shirt, ha ha ha, thinking that's the end of it, he went, no, I do you? And I went, well, of course I do. And he went, went, oh, that's pure gay. And I went, what? And he went, when you got to the football, you don't wear football shirts to the TV support. You just wear, like, these, like, Moncler jackets. And I went, the what? Moncler, it's like some new expensive brand. And I went, what do you mean? He went, no, I won't go. If you go to the game with a football shirt, you get bullied. And I'm thinking, look, what are you all about? And he went, you have to, like, me and my pals all wear this Moncler. And he went on his group chat and he went, look, See, my mate says, if you wear a football shirt to the game, you go, you, you, you must be 12. And I'm like, I've been to potentially near, maybe a thousand, I've been to loads of football matches from not just Newcastle, back down, I've been to fucking loads. I said, mate, I've been to a Liverpool match, been to a Chelsea match, been to an Arsenal match, St. James's, I've been to away ones, I've been to their grounds. 75% of the ground are in their team's shirt. Yeah. And he's like, no, 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 me and my mates, no. Nah, I said, yeah, because you're, you're wearing this Montclair shit because you and your mates think it makes you look hard and you think you don't wear a shirt because you don't look like a hooligan. I said, every true fan out there, you don't have to wear a shirt. That's, that's not the point. But the people that don't wear a shirt, maybe just left it in the wash or they're just like, oh, I haven't, you know, I haven't bought the new one or whatever. But no one thinks it's gay to wear a football shirt at a football match. Where else are you supposed to wear it? Yeah. And the worst thing is, well, it's, it's pure pissing me off. I went to the Liverpool website and I found out the things of how many Liverpool shirts have been sold for this season. 187 million shirts have been sold to Liverpool fans this season. 187 million. And I says, what about all them Liverpool fans gay? He went, oh, probably, yeah. I'm like, what are you... He's, he's got this weird thing where he's trying to act tough with his mates at the football grounds because he's fucking ninja. And I said, you probably don't wear one because you don't want to go to a match beat a team, that team outside the ground says, oh, there's a Liverpool fan, and you're an easy target. That's, that's all it is. It's like, nah, me and my, me, fuck off. That's, and I said, that's the future of football fans. Oh! <laughs> pissed me clean. I, 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 honestly, I couldn't punch the hole through the wall. It pissed me clean off. And I, I had to keep bringing it up. I said, Luke, are you being serious? You're winding me up. I was like, nah, nah, look. And I went, right, okay, watch this. Liverpool fans showed him it. Picture of the, of the cop or wherever it is in Anfield, most of them wearing Liverpool shirts. I said, because they're Liverpool fans at a Liverpool game. Yeah, but they're not proper fans. I said, what are you on about? They're wearing the... I said, we don't buy the shirt from the club shop in the, in the hopes that we're in the stands and the manager goes, shit, we need a sub. You've got a shirt, come on. We, that's not, we buy them because it's our team. We want to be unified at the games to show we're with this lot. Oh, and it... Oh, it's, oh, I'm going to fucking... But it's crazy. The way that size is not just criticising the football, he's criticising anything. Formula One, cricket. If you That's wear your she- your team shirt, so to his opinion, it's, it's gay. Yeah, because I said that to him. I said, I, I, you, what you just said there, I said, you got the rugby, um, you know, if it's England v Scotland, the England fans wearing the shirts on. Scotland, if you go to, uh, I said, perfect example, if I wasn't so fat and I could get a shirt with HMV, I'm going to see him to watch Batman, I'll be wearing a Batman shirt because... Or Batman merch, or Batman. Yeah, it's it, it, it all coexists. And it just irritated the life. Oh, I'm getting goosebumps out of anger. Oh, I just couldn't believe it because he it's, it's got this thing in his head where he thinks he's cool as fuck with his mates. And then the worst thing is, right? He, he destroyed his own argument. We kept saying, "Stop being a sheep with your pals, Matt." Right? He said, "If you're worried what they're going to say to you, they're not your pals. Stop being a sheep." And he went, "If I wasn't a sheep, uh, I'm not being a sheep. But if I was, I'd, I'd follow the crowd when I go to the matches." And wear a shirt. I was like, you just destroyed your own argument. If you're not a sheep and you're not following the crowd like the Liverpool because they're wearing shirts, so you are being a fucking sheep because you've just admitted that they wear shirts that you know piss me clean. I was gonna do it again. Ugh. And that's why I just thought I thought this, this few generations fucked. This generation It sounds like a pure mong. Uh, the worst thing is Maybe though, a nice but it sounds like a pure mong. Oh he really is. I, I, I adore him because he will give you so much comedy. The shit that he does, but there's something psychologically not aligned with him where, I don't know if it's a form of anxiety or a, a thing to try and look tough. Or, like, um, he went to the final against Chelsea on the weekend and he was putting our WhatsApp group. He was talking like a scout. He was going, I've got my ki- uh, I've got my flags, la. And uh, James said something, he went, shut up, kid. And I'm thinking, you're trying to talk scouts? 
I didn't all of a sudden put my Newcastle shirt on, go to St. James and go, right, I'm in Newcastle. Oh, we're that true, not we fucking gang, do You know what I mean? Bill does. <laughs> oh, Bill does. <laughs> I'm just thinking, it's like, Luke, mate, you're a Liverpool fan, but you're not a Scouse. You can, you still, you could be the biggest fan in the entire world, but you're still not a Scouse. Yeah. You don't talk like that, you're being the fault. Oh, it's... I've got heart pumping a bit there. It sounds like a pure monster. This is why he gets choked out of work by near enough everybody. Just do a good job this time. <laughs> but, uh, but, but the worst thing is sometimes I'm sure he says shit to wind us up, but this one an all day, and I, I don't think he, he, he does. And I was like, let me get on your group chat with your mates. I'm just going to start giving him fucking bullshit. Oh, we've got to, that's I was like, thing. please do it. Because, it, oh my God, if they're walking around in their Montclair, so you have to wear this at a game. It's like, well, no, you don't. And it's just an expensive shirt. It's like expensive, yeah. You know, like like the cost. I'm not there with fashion, there people. I just wear jeans and a hoodie, mate. It's all to That's me. My fashion. To me, it's all. I, I again, it's fashion subjective. I, I'm kind of on your levels as long as it's got Spider Man on it and whatever. I'm okay. Let's go scan you. There you are. Let's go fucking scan you. <laughs> uh, but yeah, we should. Red stripes. And I just, I just thought we are fucked. You're the future of football fans. You're the future of... You're well, not just a football no, fan. No, he's, he's, he's the cunt of the future. Yeah, he's, he's, he's the future of um, how we take in our news sources because you're saying, just watch it on TikTok. Oh, on TikTok. He always walks around because he pays for only fans. Yeah. He always goes, he, he always goes, oh no, 40 quid's gone out of my bank for only fans, look. And you're like, why, why are you showing me? I don't, I don't just care. follow I fuck noise, mate. I know the OnlyFans ones from like you know the, the like the YouTubers and you know when they talk about that uh, circle. I know them sort of. Know, I don't know, but I thought, mate, why are you doing that? And he always goes right. Yeah, there's you know you get them sex skills on Snapchat, but like they'll have like a group, mm. and she'll send out like adverts to be like, listen, I'm gonna do whatever later at half seven, pay ten quid, and you can watch. So when she sends out the adverts, he gets a message because he follows the group. And he goes, look what she's just sent me directly. And it's like her and she'll go, oh, you know, it, she'll take a bra or a shirt off and go, I'm on it and half six. And he goes, that's for me, that is. And I'm like, no, she sent you a promotion that she sent to the other thousands of people. It's not just for you, mate. He's like, no, I, I stop chatting all the time. I, honestly, I love the kid, but wow, he's just full of shit. And I've never met such a big <laughs> liar like him. But but again, he's, I, I love the boy. I would, I would never want any real harm to come to him I, I, I don't think you need to <laughs> it's just it's just sometimes you've got to be cruel to be kind yeah in this occasion I think someone used to there's, give him a good idea there, there's a lot like, sort of out yeah he, he's had, his mate his mates have given him hidings before show me a picture of his lip all fucked up and all that and I said what happened there he said my mate's back and I said why would you make mate back here he went oh, I, was, I was taking a piss out of his girlfriend corner and slagging that and I went I went, so you see why he battered you? Went, nah, it's a bit harsh, isn't it? I went, well, it depends on the context. I could guarantee come around here now, if people stood here, you could have some banter with her. Go, ah, you fat head, you, you dickhead, you twat. It's fine, it's fun. But if you're just going, you're a fucking slag. That's, and, and the tone that you do, you're okay, it's, that, that's, that's when it, there is beef. Yeah. So I said, you, how are you saying this? Like, I was just going, I was calling a fucking slag, we're walking off. I went, well, exactly, your context there is all off. It's not like you're having a bike when a joke, she's calling you a fat mom and you're saying this, are oh, you? It, see, see why? It's like, oh, who? It's a one like a pregnant? No, he would a little bit. He's the one that got all the, the thingies tattooing him. He's like, show me pictures and, and pulled a picture of um, Courage of Cowardly Dog. And he goes, look at Scooby Doo. And I was like, it's not Scooby Doo, mate. And he went, oh, you think the Courage of Cowardly Dog never heard of him? I'll get it tattooed. And then he thinks he's got the Coco Pops monkey tattooed, but it's Curious George. <laughs> got Crash Bandicoot tattooed, doesn't know what it is, never played a Crash game in his yeah, life. He, he, yeah, he's going to get us all fucking killed, isn't he? Well, we'll be getting him now, but... He, 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 yeah, the world's Well, I'm just thinking if... We if, are the last... I wouldn't say normal, but we are the last... Ish brains of our generation. Well, then, see, I would argue that and say not me, because I am a fucking twat, you know I am. Well, yeah, but if, he... If I'm not running around catching Pokemon or playing with Spider-Man, I am no good to the human race. And I thought, this is as low as the human race can get. And then I met him. Do you get what I mean? There is lower. As, <laughs> as our generation gets older, the younger generation gets more and more thicker. This is why I thought there would never be a world war, right? I thought there would never be a world war because if the generation's coming like this, 
Yeah, but you think of Putin as like two divisions of us. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but then I realised how there might be a world war by a sheer accident. Yeah. Some because of one of them will be like, hoo, hoo, hoo. or I'll say the wrong thing. Yeah. It's, there's a lad at work who he's, he's so articulate in the way that he rips you, right? Uh, but I mean, he, he, you should be flattered when he does it because you know he's giving you the time of the day. Mm. But when Specky Boy walks up, he just goes, <sighs> and just walks off. And that's when you know it's not worth it, mate, because nah. he's a fucking dodo. But again, love the boy. He was, he's, he's, I showed you his neck break the night yeah, at the pub. He did. But yeah, we're all, so that's why I said, are we all fucked here? Yeah. And again, there will be some of the younger generation that do have their head screwed on. Oh, there will be. But it's just when you meet t- twice like him. Yeah. How old's Tyler? He's about to turn tw- uh, 13. So it means that he'll be... Is he in secondary school now? Yeah. Ah, right. Well, because I said my nephew has just got confirmed to join secondary school in September. Right. And I've been going around a whole week with people and whatever else. And I just look at them and I'm like, we're doomed. <laughs> we're doomed. Yeah, that's what I mean. Again, these are the generation that's constantly on fucking Fortnite. Like mm. do weird shit. Yeah, but at the same time, the Fortnite <laughs> crack, at least they're not doing any harm. No, they're not. But then I see the other side of it, because he plays Fortnite, and I'm thinking, shit, when you get off Fortnite, what do you do? Do we need to fucking put a cage around you exactly. just to make sure? Yeah. He's, uh, I've always, I always said, please come out to mine, I'm just doing podcasts with us. He's like, no, pay us. And I was like, no, come on, mate, you're supposed to be on there, just come down. He's like, oh, you fucking fuck. I'm going to make him a bacon and put you in a cup of tea. Yeah, he always goes up to you he'll like come out as vegan I mean <laughs> you always like he'll chuck something at you and you let it lie you look away. chuck him more so you go up to him and you'll, you'll do whatever to him right you'll then he'll go no no leave him we'll call it quits I'm like I haven't got you back yet so you pick something up chuck it up and you'll go oh, I fucking owe you and you're like mate I'll just let you get away with about 20 so no you fucking don't because he does loads of shit throughout the day so he, most people do one big thing to try and end it and then he goes oh no 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 <laughs> Andy, Andy put him in an arm bar and it's oh my god Andy was turned into like Spider-Man he went around his body boom arm bar and Luke ah 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 and top and out it's fucking like, I'd have to punch him <laughs> mate punch I try and talk like there's moments right because mate the guy tried to choke me out come behind us jumped went to choke me out I don't know if he can carry his own weight sit around my neck and fell and went ooh ooh and I, I, that's me just stood there demolding like What's just happened there? <laughs> like he, he, he'll hurt himself. Like he'll run off. He'll go. He'll come up to you and try. He'll, like I don't know what he does. But he does this thing. He goes. He's like, come on. And you're like, what are you doing? He'll go. Oh, and walk into something. And you're like, I don't need to beat you. You do it for me. <laughs> but he, he always, he always, like, because again, I I try my hardest. To, like there is moments where he's jumped on my back, tried to choke us, but he's got no strength. So you'll just carry on working with him on your back. You try and let him get away with so much. And then you spend like eight hours with him and you're like, right, okay, there's going to be one thing. So he'll be, I don't know, he'll be near some of the pressure washer over and you just go, hello, or whatever. And he's like, ah, it's like, yeah, that's just quits. Yeah, I'd have to punch him. <laughs> the worst thing is, he had a wrestle with one of the lads at work the other day and won. He beat him. And we were like, and this other lad, we would have put money on, the other lad's not got much to him, but we, we would have put money on that he would have won and we were like, no, this is the worst thing that could happen. And now Luke, because he's beat probably the easiest person to beat in a wrestling at work, he's walking around like that. I'll wrap anybody up, mate. Anybody. And that's a few people just shut him up proper quick. <laughs> but every time he sees the lad, he's going, I'll wrap you up, son. I'll wrap you up. And I'm like, looking at him going, fucking get him. How can you let that get one over on you? And, oh my God, he just let it lie. And I'm like, I could not be you. Because there's people at my work who you've met that would smash me in a wrestle. And if they beat me in a wrestle, go, yeah, fair enough, no worries, it's all done. But when there's people like him that anybody could sort out, you don't let him get no, away with that. No, no, no. <laughs> he's fucking numpty. Sounds like. Like he's a pure numpty. Sounds like. But again, I love him. I'd have to kill him. Because <laughs> <laughs> he always looks at me because he always does his dance moves. He'll stand there and do loads of dancing. Like he'll just go. And he'll, like, the dance move for me is, you fuck bastard. Ooh! So he just walks around going, like that. And he'll go. And he'll walk off. 
Yeah, I'd have to kill him. Or he'll go, oh, here you go, Luke, back at it, Luke, back at it, and he'll just start going, roof, 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 roof. so somebody will walk up, Luke, Luke, back at it, back at it, Luke, roof, roof, roof. He's, <laughs> he's got a video, uh, he's shown us, he said he was pure monged in on the couch, just barking, his mates just recording him in bed, he's just going, roof, roof. So why are you back at us? I don't remember doing it, really. Okay. okay, and that's the future of our generation. We are screwed. Barking him, you get to war. Barking him, go on, son. Well, I started a new job this week, Dan. Yay! <laughs> Hopefully, you haven't got any uh, little demons around your spot. <laughs> no, we're all growing up. We're all growing we're up. We're all sensible. <sighs> I was in there. What was I in there for? Eight. Twelve hours. Day and a half. Mm-hmm. But taken over by a new company. I know, you said this and straight away the alarm bells <laughs> went. But surely, right, just sorry to interrupt because now you're going to talk here. You started a new job. Yes. They they knew that we needed this job filled, but behind the scenes... That's the thing, they didn't. Oh, what? No one knew the takeover was happening. Oh, surely they so did. So everyone found out 2 o'clock on the Tuesday afternoon because everyone got sent an email and then everyone ended the meeting... And then an hour later, the new guys turned up and said, right, we work for a new company, now you work for us. Well, surely that's it then. Surely that there's no, like... We've all been told that all our jobs are safe and secure, because obviously they've, they been, say pop- that they they've they? been popping around. And Who's sort of going to interrupt? Who is it that's taken over? A company called Parks. Right. Parks Motors. He actually owns half of Rangers. Douglas Park. Rangers Football Club? Yes. So, hey, fucking hell, surely you what job? You get, they're, they're financially They've sound. got like 70 uh, car showrooms up in Scotland, all yeah, over they're... Scotland. Uh, they've got parks, coaches, the black and gold-ish. <sighs> um, he, he owns Rangers, or some shares in Rangers. That's I think it's Rangers. Douglas well. Parks is called. One of the biggest clubs in Britain, Rangers. Yeah. So you... um, they're not broke. No, no. They've got money. Yeah, so yeah, you're sure. It's just when you said it, because this has happened before, yeah. and I'm like, oh my fucking god, you can't. Yeah. It's either get a new house yeah. or find a new job. Yeah. It's um, always your story. What's Chris doing this week? House or job? House or it's like you, it's like you wake up and spin a wheel. <laughs> what should I find a new one this week? <laughs> what cat? House way. Um, we've, we've all been to, uh, told our jobs are secure. There's nothing to worry about because um, obviously. They came round each department and introduced themselves and said who they were. Um, we will be having one to ones at some point in the future. Um, but as you said, like you one to one will be like uh, they'll ask you about your job and what you do. And... Yeah, well, he kind of did that when he, he came round um, the other day. That's long I was there and I saw him a couple of a day and a half. What did he say to that? <laughs> he just laughed. He says, "Oh, well, at least you knew to everything." And I said, "Well, kind of." Because I knew. So he asked when you've been in the motor trip before, and I told him. He says, "Oh, well, at least we've got experience. It's a good thing. It's what we need. People experience." So he says, "You don't have to worry. I know you're new and everything. You're a bit anxious." He says, "Your job's secure. You won't be getting these." Well, says, surely if he said that to your face, you you, you want to believe him. He says, "The only difference is, he says that your yeah, yeah, hours might change a little bit, which I'm not fussed about anyhow." Um, he says. We're gonna go through everyone one to one discussion wages and all that. See what we're on, but I didn't really know. I didn't really realise. But when a company takes over another company, they're not allowed to be sacked straight away. Everyone has to right, okay. stay, and then when structures get put in place, that's when they can say, right, well, we don't need you. We don't need you, or they can say. Right, we're, we're going to change this instead of doing it this way. Um, but they're not allowed to reduce your pay or anything right. like that. Yeah, they can't just mess around with you. Yeah. No. Well, because an initial deal has been struck, hasn't it? Mm-hmm. So they say, Do you know what pisses me off about job shit, right? That to leave a job, you have to give a week, two weeks notice or whatever. But to sack you, you can tell you, sack you there on the day and see you later. Yeah. Surely, surely they would have to give you a couple of weeks' notice to make that fair because it, it's you don't. Some people will obviously, but so, yeah, if, if you don't walk fair, into a job all the time, if you're a fair company, then they'll say, "Look, right, it's, it's not working out fair. We'll give you a week." Blah 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 blah. Yeah, then you can spend. But that if week. you're a proper dickhead, yeah, or if the manager's a dickhead, yeah. vice versa, they can say, "Right, go." On. Yeah, but to be fair, 
To be fair, even if you give it to a pure dickhead and you say, well, I'm giving you a week, right? You, you, in a week, you're sacked, so you better find another job. In that week, that person might get their own screwed on because they've had the, the shock of their life and say, fuck. But it shouldn't have to be that, though. No, it shouldn't have to come down to that, but everybody can change. Some people, like, I could be a dickhead at work because I always want to giggle, but luckily I'm a bit of a golden boy, I will admit. I'd like say, first week with these lot, everyone seems great. I have a laugh. There's a, there's a what a term about it. Get all weird. Yeah, but so um, you and your right side. Yeah, how weird? Yeah. Do, what do you mean by weird? Like us weird? Or no, not weird. Isn't weird, weird that way. It's just she thinks she's up her own ass. Ah, right. Okay, arrogant and stuff. Yeah, she's 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 another Hitler. She just oh. goes marching through and demanding and shit. I'm like, hold on, hold on. There's people first. I'm on the phone. Just hold your horses. Right. So there is people who think the higher mighty in there, but we'll whack and work on that. But everyone else seems to be. Kosher. Yeah. Um, I work with a couple of lads who's Marvel fans as well. It's better for me. It's better, better for crack you, with yeah. Um, but yeah, everyone seems decent. I know what I'm doing because obviously did it in the past. Um, I hope you talk to these other Marvel fans. You say, "Yeah, I am the Padawan. My master is Daniel Gordon. No. I am his Padawan. He is maybe the man I am today." I keep saying it. <laughs> he said it to me. I was like, I always look at she goes, "Ah, you know, like Spider Gwen, for example. She loves it." I was like, "If it wasn't for me, you wouldn't love her." But I was like, just remember that. And Talk like, about Spider Gwen. Oh, mm. oh, oh, my niece, book day, book. She dressed as Spider Gwen. She dressed as Spider Gwen. Get in! I like that shit. See, now I feel like the future's not as fucked. No. I feel like the future, you, you, you redeem it. Can I get this in the fucking recycling from here? He shoots, he scores! Oh, this one has brains. Good. I want to find it. Can't find it now. I'll be honest, if I ever have kids, then the future is fucked, just to let you know. So, if there's anybody with a time machine that knows I'm going to have kids, come back in time and kill us now. <laughs> oh, get the fuck in there. She's a full works, man. Oh, bless her. Does she love Spider Gwen like? Well, she wanted to do it. Well, obviously, it's a, it, the school she goes to, it, it, it was a superhero theme. Right. And um, she said she knows I'm and all that shit. She was yeah. like, Quiz the Dare. I was like, what? I need a costume. I like, oh, so you chose it out. Mm. Like, Brilliant what? choice, like, Uncle Chris. I was like, what for? And then she told me she's doing a costume, a spool hook. I was like, well, what, what do you like? And if it gets pink? And, and I was like, right, okay then. So I thought, and I was like, well, what about Spider Gwen? And she went, oh. So I went through some could, pictures. You could have motivated her here. She liked it. You, you, she could be like, in a few years' time, she'd be like, I want to know more about this girl. Very. Yeah. Well done, Chris. Well done, because if my nephew got to this, the one just says a fucking bin bag, pal. So you should tell. There you go. So my costumes and, and stuff are for me, not for you. Oh, get in. I'm happy with that, mate. Oh, yes. First see, that, if I were to walk, she would walk past me in the street, I'd have been like, get in! And I'd kind of walk and she'd have been like, some angry man shouting yeah, in there. Yeah, she would. She would start crying. But, but it's an exciting get in. Like, that's all I would have said. I'd just be like, that's fucking me! And I'm kind of walking. She'd be like, oh, shouting at me! Sure. I always do it. I get the always strange looks, right? Because, like, I'm, I'm a little, you know, I'm a little bit out there. I'll talk to most people. About that. Like, I'll walk through somewhere. So, like, sometimes if I get dropped off a towel from work and I'm walking on, I'll quickly grab a coffee with me. Then a kid walk past and he'll, he'll have a pogwash shirt and I'll go, cool shirt. And you'll see the parents go, fuck. Well, I'm just, I'm just, pogwash shirt, like, pogwash. That's it. It's like uh, when there was, there was a dad. Uh, and his boy, there were water stones. I was getting some Pokemon cards, and they were getting some cards. And you could see the boy looking. He's like, I'm not sure. He had 20 quid to spend. I thought I told you a story. And he was looking what to buy. And I was just like, and they were picking up something. I was, I was, I was like, don't know. And I had to intervene. I was like, sorry, mate, how much did you got to spend? And the dad's like, he's got 20 quid. Why? And he's like, looking like, who the fuck are you? He's like, oh, sorry, I don't mean to interrupt. It's just, he's buying Pokemon cards. You should buy these if you want a better chance of getting a better card and whatnot. And I was giving him loads of info that he just did not give a shit about. He could tell he just wanted the boy to buy something to fuck off. And I was saying to the kids, like, yeah, listen, this is for the new set. Blah, blah, blah. You can get this. You've got a chance of pulling this. If you buy this, you'll only get that. And the kids, people love it. You can see the dad's just thinking, get away. Are you a nonce or not? And I'm just like, and I left it. I bought my cards, like, cheers. Good luck. Hopefully, you get some good stuff. And again, you can see the dad's just thinking, fucking weird bastard. <laughs> I was just what. Well, it's 20 quid, I thought, you know, he was going to buy two theme decks, but you're not going to get out in there. And so we bought, I got him to buy two blisters, six packets, a chance of pulling a secret rare or whatever. <laughs> That's what I mean, so I thought, you know, you, you, that kid will be buzzing if he gets somebody's like, boom, secret rare, or even an ultra rare or a V, you'd be like, get in. 
I thought I was doing my part. Because I, it, the worst thing is, this is pure nonsense. When I, when I see a family, whatever, and the kids, I'd rather talk to the kid because I know mentally I'm on their level. There's a good chance he's proper into the MCU and that. And the dad's just like, I just want to go pop, I'll be a sort of fuck off. <laughs> so I'd much rather, because I'd be like, oh, sweet, you play at this game, you, don't, you watch this movie you like this. I'm just a fucking, it's, I'm just so childish. I know the dad's not building Lego, but the kid might be. And I'm like, oh, have you got this new set? What the fuck? I can shut the door with that. No, you can't. You can't. Watch me, watch me. Now. <laughs> nah. <laughs> Nearly. But yeah, so I don't know if we've fucked Chris. That would maybe, maybe not. Give it, ask, me, ask me another ten years. I might not be here, but ask me another ten years. I think, I think I'll go before you, Paul. I have a high, a high diabetes, heart attack or diabetes. Combination of both high diabetes. High diabetes. Um, so yeah. You never know. Because our generation did have the Beals. Hmm? My generation does have the Beals. Mm. You're a millennial though, aren't you? Um, anyone from 90s upwards is a millennial. So am I then. Because I didn't think I was a millennial. I thought it was 2000s upwards. And then the lad at work called me a millennial. I was like, I'm not I'm one of the 90s. But yeah, and yeah, it's 90s. So you would be... I'm at 88, so am I. Though. I don't know what generation you call that. Because he goes millennials and then this current one's Gen Z. Which fucking explains it. Yeah, Gen Z. I want to know what I am now. I How do I search this? Um, what's the general? What's the what's the generation name for eighties kids? Something like that. Oh, no, you fucking probably Google it. That's enough. The wheels go to Google as well. What do we do? We got Google. What generation am I? That's, uh, that might be better. Nineteen eighty eight. Right, among older millennials, those born 1981 to 1988, Generation X. Generation X. Why are you X? Why are we millennials and then why the Gen Z? I don't know. I don't know. Hey, surely we should be Generation Y. Right, here we go. I found a, a category of years. Mm. And then right, okay. Fuck this. I'm going to wait for to get to People attack. born between 1901 and 1924. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Is that you listening right now? I know you're listening, Tommy. Uh, called GI Generation. GI? GI. I like that one. <laughs> I want to be a GI Gen. GI Gen, GI Joe. People between 1925 and 1946 are called Silent Generation. Is that, that might be because of the World Wars. The World War. People between 1946 and 1964. My mum was born in 64. A baby boom generation. <laughs> baby boom. So my mum's a baby boom. I'm not a Generation X. A people between 1965 and 1979 are uh, Generation X. Right. People between 1980 and 1999. What are you? 93. 93. So we are millennials. Well, I said I knew I was a millennial. Mm. I said you're as well. I'm you're a millennial. I'm a millennial. And then people from 2000 and onwards are Gen Zs. Right. That's weird as fuck. Mm. Baby boom. So your mum's a baby boom. We're millennials. We're millennials. Because I always called millennials the people that are younger than me. Mm. But my mate corrected me and obviously you just shot it again. So. so we are a millennial. So that, that, we're basically the, the last generation of our kind. Of our kind. <laughs> no one new species. <laughs> Anything happened there else has gone downhill. It's gone. It's all gone. Speaking of uh, news crack, have you seen any of the news that Russia are doing? No. You should see how full of propaganda it is. The Russian news are telling the people they're not at war, there's no casualties and stuff, that the Ukraine started it all. It's it's full of propaganda and the Russian people are believing it. It's, so they're all saying it's all Ukraine's fault. Yeah, because, it, because, they're, because obviously Putin's controlling what the media say. They're not allowed to say the word war. But you see, the group uh, Anonymous are hacking everything. They hack the... the um, Things on the side of the, the roads that say Putin is a dickhead and that. Mm. Anonymous will fuck him up. Well, hasn't there been a, a 
Russian millionaire who put a million Bounty. dollars yeah. on Putin's head. Just to, just to arrest him. Yeah. Just to fucking stop him. The only the worst thing is Putin, he'll tell everybody where he is, it's getting to him. But I'm surprised the police, even though they kind of will kind of still work for him, but I'm surprised they haven't stepped up and said, look, stop doing what they fucking do. The second anybody says no, they see the writers, they say they get arrested. I'm not joking here, they'll be getting killed. Because there has been Russian protesters all fucking been beaten up and arrested, haven't they? Yeah, the ones that have been arrested, I guarantee you, are dead. I guarantee it. It's, it's been like that way for Russia for years, that they lock up people for a lifetime for just saying we oppose you and stuff. Yeah. It's proper bad. That's why we've got to be blessed. We, we might try about shit where we live and all that kind of shit, but Jesus Christ, I can walk out the street now, regardless if it's fucking sexist, racist, or how bad it is, you can say it. Yeah, we're quite fortunate of living in a quite a uh, well we can educated, say, rich country. You quite literally, again, you might not agree with it. You don't want to say bad shit about sexism, racism, and stuff. But anything you want to say, you can say. Yeah. Uh, anything you want, your your views, your religion, your way of life, your whatever. It's if you want to sit here and do fuck all and jerk your dick in your bedroom all day, you can do it. If you want to yeah. go outside and fucking kick a football you can do it if you want to vote whoever you, you whatever you want you can do it I think we should all just go back to the Stone Age and start again Jesus fucking Christ mate imagine how uh, I, if you did that I would have to have no knowledge of my current present because if I well were, obviously yeah there'd have to be none of that yeah, we I, couldn't just like jump back and say look I remember the future that's what I mean to imagine, bear, imagine being sat there she'd be like fucking got insane I was on the brink of multiversal madness yeah but no if you started the, started fresh just clean out everybody. That's what they should do. Just fucking clean out everybody and just start fresh. It'd be fucking... Put a lot of test tube babies in space. Clean up the fucking earth. <coughs> and then just fire them all back down and just start fresh. That's what I think we should do. Maybe we just need Ultron. Because we are a fucked up generation. It's a fucked up race. Just, just but yeah, so we are... We've destroyed this planet. You are absolutely correct. But there are some lights. There is. There, is. Hug. there are there people... Is. Trying to create change, people trying to help. Because you are right, there is, there is a, mostly, it's all, most people are greedy and money and the power hungry and, you know, the politicians and all that kind of carry on. But your every, everyday Joe it just wants to help something or help somebody. It's... The amount of species of animals that we have killed off because we are fucking assholes. I, I still think it's weird that we can manipulate, like we can breed dogs and just sell on their family. I don't get it wrong, I, I'm hypocritical because I've, I've took part in that many a time. Oh, yeah, yeah. Involved. But we could just go, right, see this whole this whole species, belong to us, you're going to have kids, I'm going to set them off. It's not, it's not just that, and like, say, I, I'm not, I'm never going to go vegan, so I'll, I'll never turn, but it's the fact that we, we kill certain animals to pleasure ourselves. Yeah, in terms of fashion, fashion not just food, but... That's what I mean, fashion. Materials. Uh, materials, food. And the animals that were here long before us, but yet we've just come swarming in. It's yeah. right, you little bastards. We're going to eat you, we're going to yeah. wear you, we're going to smell like you. We're going to domesticate you. You yeah. work for us, we're going to get you. And like, see when we get we get, we get get animals to do stuff for our bin, like dog fight. Like, I can't stand dog oh, fighting. No. But it's, it's just, oh. Because, because I, I hate how... Sometimes I wish dogs were in the wild and they didn't trust humans, but because dogs... That's why I love wolves. Yeah. Because dogs what? trust humans down what? to a T, they'll be like, I'll do anything you say. So oh, if you no, want to go in there and fight. That's the mean, aren't you? Yeah. So if you want me to go in there and fight, I'll do it because I love you and I trust you. Right, go play with your ball. Go play with your ball. Go play with your ball. Um, so yeah. But yeah, we'll end it there. So Chris can give this jolly way and I can, I've got a bit of tidying up to do and then I've got football to watch. What am I going to have for my dinner today? Uh, but, uh, I'm watching the UFC tonight, so I'll probably go to Joy's. Joys. Fuck, honestly. Ah, oh, the fuck's a Joys? It's a takeaway. It's absolutely ah. Oh. You don't go to new places. It's no, no. Joys. We used to always go. I went to Morano's, then the incident happened. Um, so then, but then Joys got burnt out. Ugh, right. I'm not telling you this on purpose. I love Morano's. You know I love Morano's. Woke up in the middle of the night and spewed all the cheese up. <laughs> Swallowed it, and uh, every time oh. I think, yeah, I'm sorry, man. I, I didn't <laughs> want to tell you. Uh, I didn't speak. Well, you didn't have to tell me the full details. Well, what, I could have just told you the cheese incident because you'd been more curious. <laughs> oh, yeah, true. So I woke up in the middle of the night and I, obviously I'd swallowed it in my sleep and I woke up and I was going, Ugh. I was going, B, well, I, could, I could taste my Morano's and my all there was on fire. <laughs> 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 oh, God, Chris. So yeah. I've never been to Morano's. Then Joy's was opened 
and it's fucking outstanding. But then the Indian restaurant next to Joy's got set on fire. <laughs> So Joy's was damaged in the fire. Then that's been out for about a year. Now it's reopened. So that, that's it. Just go there. So what does Joy's do? Just take away pizza, oh. burger, crabs, fucking whatever you want. It's my bum bum. <laughs> so you don't go to uh, the Stackers Bar anymore? Well, we, no, uh, every time I can, we will. But every time I'm fucking been around, we're closed. Wait, every time it will go, <laughs> we're shut today, open tomorrow. So you go to order, we're already open from 6 till 7. I, I don't understand your takeaway. How, how are you in business? Exactly. It's fucking weird, mate. But regardless, at least I've got a new place to buy comics. I'm happy about that. Yeah, oh, comics. Yeah, online thing. Comics shipped every the week. Thing. Stop sniffing my bum bum and my wee wee. Well, I want to get my game room set up this year, hopefully. Uh, speaking of Specky Boy, uh, he, he has a nice little game room set up, you know, with the free monitors and whatnot. And it looks quite cool. Do you beat him up and seal it? I'm <laughs> still trying to get a PS5 because I want to play Grand Trismo. My mate's still get trying. One, fucking get one. I need, to, I need to re-ask him again. What do you want, mate? Um, I was going to say something there. Did I tell you about the wee incident with his mum? No. He told me a story, right? I don't want to know. He pissed in a bottle lid from a Wicked or a Wicked, whatever they were called. Uh, lid? Or in yeah, a bottle? Yeah, the lid. The so lid. what, they're about that? They're flazy. Yeah. Like, and he gave his mum it to drink and, she, hey. and she, she drank it. And he went, oh, that's the new VK flavour or Wicked flavour. I don't know what, I don't know alcohol. And she drank and went, oh, it's minging. And then he went upstairs and that was it. So he made his mum drink a shot of his piss. Bearing in mind, it's wrong regardless of anyway. But it's not like he was doing a weird, funny stunt with his pals or trying to get a giggle. He was sat on his own. His mum was downstairs. He went, drink a shot of my piss. And that was it. And I'm like, you're not filming an episode of Jackass here where you're bamming, you're fucking over your mum and that. He said, well, what are you doing? He was just like, oh, fuck, it's funny. I was like, yeah, mate, if you've got your mates to drink your piss, and all your mates are going, ha ha, I drank my piss. I'm not well up for that. Not your mum, mate. <laughs> That's a tough joke. It's fucking nuts. Can I give him a hiding? Can you give him a slap? Well, he's had plenty of hidings. And so when he gets, like, like not off like us boys, like people before we met him. He needs a good hiding. And he still doesn't understand sometimes why they do it. Because there is, I don't need to go back another thing about a leaky boy now. Um... I think he's got a, a more like me. I am very, 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 very blunt and over the top of my humour. You can come up to me and call me a fat, mean little prick, Nazi bastard. I'll go, hey. And he's kind of the same. But I, when I do it, I know my audience. Like, I know, like, Jim Bobby, you met the other day. No limits. We say whatever we want to each other. Don't give a fuck. Mm. But there's a couple of lads at work where I can say 20% of what I would say to him. Because I know they're not really into that. They'll be yeah. more, more. so I know. Whereas he has got no limits. He'll say anything to anybody, thinking everybody's got the same limit as him. So you don't know, see what I'm saying. So he, he he's not doing it to be a dick. He just doesn't realise that everything you find funny, they don't find it funny. Yeah. He just thinks, oh, I find this funny, so everybody will. If you know what I mean? Like the Jackass boys, they all on the same page. If they get just on piss on shat on, they know it's all because they're on the same page. If I was to do that with a different group of mates, me, me and my other mate would find that funny. But if we were with you, covering you with shit, you wouldn't like it. No. You know what I mean? <laughs> I know I would like it, but at the end of it, I'd go fucking funny cunts. Because no. I'm just, I'm just disgusted. I just love Jackass E. Dirty Sanchez humour. But I know I can't go to Chris and piss on you. No, please don't. That's what it, mate. Like, like, work, like working with my mate Jim Bob. Like we'll be doing shit, and again, I'll, I'll just obviously bring up a greenie and just spit it in the air. Because <laughs> I know he'll be like, "I'll give me spear," but he'll he'll find it funny. It's hilarious. Do you know what I was doing yesterday? No. <laughs> no. I was eating hobnobs and pure get into a million paste, and I was going, <laughs> and then they were just going, do little seeds. Do. And he was like, oh, oh. I just could not. I'm not that dramatic, but fuck <laughs> But I always like to eat my food in front of them because we sit next to each other and I just go, I just show them it all and it's all in my beard and that. And just... You're a dirty boy, Daniel. I can't help it, mate. Just, that's what I mean. I was brought up by Jackass. So I just love, I, when we went to Turkey, me and the boys, we did the some, boys, we did some, were... Booked off the faces and you would set the hood. Yeah. But when we were doing pranks to each other, there were some of them over the top, but we all found it funny because it was, it's just funny. Like when people were asleep doing shit and all that. It, that's hilarious to me. We were doing, we, we all we used to do the, the stuff with like Gretna every weekend when we finished school and that, I'd be in the corner taking pictures of my knob in front of my pal and you'd just see it. We all black and it'd be flashing a knob. And then I'd go to the other part of the room, flashing a knob. And next thing you know, it's right in the face of like, oh! 
But then she, again, shit's happened to me and whatnot, getting my hair shaved and getting covered in shit. We, we used to do everything, man. Was, I don't know, just loved it. I was more sensible. I went to a grown-up school. I was police <laughs> yeah, the, the, the whole thing is I just loved being dumb everything was just it's just a giggle with my pals oh no I, I've got as you know I like my dumb side but I don't know I've just always been screwed on level headed otherwise I've been I've always been called the snob of the family the snob mm. I wouldn't say yourself I, I've, I've brought you out your your uh, the mongy Chris of these oh the mongy side has, has came out more over the years but exactly no I'm still Sensible in a way. That's not only limits. Yeah, you're, you're just saying, I'm just, way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're, you're unpredictable. Unpredict- That's why I, we're a good dynamic. You can, you can look after us. Well, someone's got to. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> That's why I said, did you remember the cinema? I was like, this dickhead here has to look after me when we're out and about playing. I fucking love it. That's why I get with Beal as well, because Beal's very, um, I think that's why I've always been pals with him, because he's very... Uh, Dumb and just silly and goofy, like yeah. going to his house on New Year's and setting off fireworks in the house. Because we're like, ah, have you funny? See, this, the, 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 the normal side of it, like, don't do that. Yeah, see, that's what I mean. <laughs> Somebody was shit was like, oh, we're just like, we had a cap and wheel. We had, we just got it out of the house before it went off. He's like, ah, and it's like, that's spinning. Oh, fuck. And it's just, oh, midnight. <laughs> So yeah, that's good. going to kill us one day. But it will. Okay. But we'll leave it there. Yours. It was a nice little ramble on. Uh, uh, you can answer the question. I'll, I'll be fucked. Yes. <sighs> like yeah. I said, ask us in 10 years. Ask us in 10 years. If we're still here. If we're still here. Uh, Visual segment. Say, Bruce, keep it here. Uh, keep, I'll keep it down. And as always.